Hi everyone, welcome to this Alters Hands-On Practice Questions. In this video, we will see how to convert an Excel pivot table to Alteryx and generate filtered results dynamically using Analytics app. Below are the topics which we will be covering. The main things which are needed for this is cost tab, summarize from the transform and from interface we will be using the text input and the action to get the user input. Moving on to our task for today, we have an Excel sheet as an input so you can see it has product category, subcategory, region, date and sales. Our output is to create a pivot table. Okay, so let me show you the pivot table. In pivot table in filters, we'll be having regions where we have all the three regions. In columns, we are keeping the date. Rows, we have the product category followed by subcategory. And in the values, we have the sum of sales. If you notice here, we have the category wise summation and this is the grand total column wise, this is the grand total row wise. So we'll try to replicate the same in all tricks. Let's move on to our all tricks. So the first task would be to get the input data. For that, we will use our input data tool and give set up the connection for our excel file so excel got we got, we got our excel next thing uh, if you notice this there are leading trailing spaces so the same is happening in the input file okay so there are spaces here to remove this we have to use a formula tool so i'll use a formula tool here and here for all the columns which are having the issue, we will just trim the that. So existing column will select as product category. We'll use a trim function to trim the leading and trading spaces from product category. Same we'll do for subcategory, region and the date. So now you see that those errors are gone. Next task, we will use go with our filter first which is the region filter so i have used here the region filter so from preparation we are using the filter tool here in basic filter i have given or selected the region which we have which is equal to south for now okay i have just kept it south and we will change this based on user input okay this is the south data So after the filter, you see only South region data is coming up. Now, the next step which we will be performing is we will be finding the product wise. Sorry, sorry, first thing which we have to do is find the summation for all because this is a group data based on category, subcategory and date. So for that, we'll be going with the summarize tool where we will summarize a group by the product category, subcategory and date. For sales, we'll use an action sum and the name changes to sum of sales. If we want, we can rename it here. So this is our output, which has all the category, subcategory, date and the sum of sales. From this is our entry point to create the pivot, okay? because we already got whatever data we need almost almost the data but we have to transport is to get it in the correct format so as i was mentioning there are two kinds of totals here one total if you see this line 5 8 and 10 these are category wise subtotals along with there is a grand total for those columns as well okay for this We'll take an input from our summarize which we have created. We we'll pass it to a cross tab. In this, we'll group the product category only. We'll change the column headers of date to the new values that is the sum of sales. 
the metaphor are aggregating the values with which sum so if we till, do till this okay we'll get one two three four five till five okay these are the columns which we'll be getting for each individual category we'll get the total sum so for clothing it is five thousand then for seven thousand for the next month for next year it is 2500 and for feb 2022 it is again 3500 but the total column we will not be getting to get this total column okay we will have to scroll down and check this total column in our cross tab so we almost got the output which we need for our product level aggregation to get the subcategory and product both aggregation the same summarized data this is a grand total we're going to get for the row and column along for the category and subcategory here i'm using another cross tab in the previous one i'll have the product category checked along with the subcategory this would remain same we will be changing the column headers for date and the value for the new column will be sum of sales method for aggregating would be sum and since we need a grand total for the rows and the columns as well so total column will select as we have selected previously along with that we'll select the total row also so we got the total for this if you see men is 3000 4000 3500 and 10500 and so this already creates a total column for the row wise total it has the values that is 9000 7000 28000 but there is no name to it. To add a name to this, we'll use the formula tool. So the formula which I have mentioned is if is null, if the product category is null, then name this as total. So I'm changing the product category column itself. Else it will be the same product category and we'll end this. next step would be to combine the subtotal and grand total for the category and subcategory for that we will use a union tool in this union we'll pass the first cross tab which is the subtotal for category and the second which is the subtotal for subcategory so instead of passing the cross tab we'll pass this filter value because we have replaced the total column here it the configuration would be auto config by name and you can keep these as same so now this is combined you can see the for subcategories where, where only the product category was mentioned that there the subcategory is coming as null okay and for total also subcategory is coming as null which is expected these are the columns where subcategory should be null so our data is combined uh, one thing to notice that subcategory is coming in the last we will have to change the order for that i'm using a select tool and this subcategory was below i just clicked on it and clicked on this arrow to move it up to the second position uh, still the data is not ordered for that to order it i'm using the sort tool where i'm passing the product category and ordering it in ascending order so this is the output and to present this output in excel i'm taking an output tool and i'm setting up a connection for excel in the settings i'm keeping this output option overwrite the sheet There are two overwrite, one is overwrite remove and one is overwrite. So let me show that. I'm using override the sheet or range. Okay, I'm not selecting override file and remove. So I'm selecting the second option. You can select whatever you want if you want to append to the existing sheet or create a new sheet, anything will be fine. Now the only part which is left for us is to get the region filter based on the user input. So for that we'll use our interface tool to bring in the text boxes i'll bring the text box for the text i'm using select the region then 
will join this to the to the lightning symbol of filter and this action tool will pop up the action tool action type will select update value then scroll down to this operands go to operand value south and click here check here the replace a specific string which is south so what this will do whenever the user is inputting any value it will change the value of south and then pass it to the filter we can run it normal if we run it normal then the whatever filter which we have selected as south that results are getting displayed now let me show you how to run this so once you bring this up the workflow it sucks in, into an analytic app and you get an option to run this as an app well, let's try running this let's select a region north because we have already seen the south click on finish so is showing us to open the output we click on ok so this is our output let's check the values so for product category we have to okay this is not For the electronics product category, subtotal we have 6,000, 12,000, 12,000, 15,000, and 45,000. Then under the subcategory, we have two computers and phone, which is respectively 29 and 15,500. For food independently, we have 4,000, and again in the subcategory, we have one dairy, which is again 4,000. For the grand total for rows, we have here 10,000, 12,000, 12, 15, and 49,000. This exactly matches. Let me just show you how if you can. So this is how happened when we set a not. We can even run this for other user. We can select west. Our best data is this. Let's cross check that as well. Here we have 7,045, 4,500, 2,500, 29, 16, 13, 36. Okay, so the total men, women, dairy, and meat. Okay, so this is we, we got our desired results. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel for more such updates and thank you so much for watching.